on the bench today I've got a new dummy load I've been waiting for this for a while it's uh, perfect for my daily usage it's a 1.5 kilowatt peak and it's MFJ 264 and it has a little chart here of how long you can peak it out for so you get about 10 seconds at 1500 watts a uh, minute at uh, 150 watts which is perfectly fine with me so this will be great for my daily usage um, one thing I want to do though is add a sample port to it right here and I'm going to use a method that has been tried and tested by KO4BB I will not take credit for it I'll link to his website there's a little tutorial on how to do this but I figured I'd do it on YouTube here and show you guys how I did it so let's start by opening this up and I'll show you just exactly how we're going to do this so first things first we are going to need to mark out like that our hole to drill for the PNC port I've got one like this where uh, just drill a hole and then it's got a nut to screw it in so got tons of room over here and I figured it's the best place for it so I'm gonna mark that out drill it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cover back on because if I push a drill down into this it's gonna bend this thing and it's kind of flimsy but once you put the cover back on it's a lot more solid so it'll handle the pressure of me drilling into it um, it is aluminum surprisingly so it should be pretty easy to drill but I still want to put the cover back on to do that so, so I'll do a little time lapse of it Now we have a hole where we can mount our PNC connector or whatever connector you want to put on. You want to put an N on there or a UHF or a uh, SMA, whatever floats your boat. Basically, this is the website here. Um, this will give you negative 40 dB, which is great. So, 100 milliwatt output for 1,000 watts in, or that's 10 milliwatt output for 100 watts in. So this is perfect for 
spectrum analyzer or oscilloscope, whatever you want to do. So what we're going to do is build this circuit here with resistors that I have available of course. It's going to look a little more like that one. And uh, this is your frequency response.
that's the finished product there. As much as I absolutely hate using hot glue, I, I see hot glue as children's crafts, but this is kind of flapping in the breeze there. There's gaps, but I don't want it to touch, so I'm gonna hot glue bit in here just to kind of hold it in place so it never does move around it never will but just in case cheap insurance so let's do that and then put the case back And there you have it, folks. Forty dB. This is ready to go onto the bench, hidden away in the corner. Now let's get on to the next project. <laughs> 